That is a noisy, noisy spring procession of frogs. Out in the middle of the day, getting ready to meet and greet each other. Oh my goodness, listen to that. Oh, did you hear that deep croak? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to see if I can find some. Hello everyone, and welcome back. This is a little hiking vlog, and we are out and we have found some frogs making a lot of noise. And we came down to try to see if we could find some of them. Of course, they've gone quiet, but we're finding some absolutely amazing little treasures, and I cannot wait to share these with you. This is, this is fantastic. So one second. Right, do you guys see this? Look at this pile of eggs. There is a huge pile of frog eggs. So somebody has been successful at their mating calls, and they are just sitting right here in this in this water so they can stay nice and moist as amphibian eggs need to and it is getting into the springtime weather so everybody's super excited to have their babies and look at those those tiny little itty bitty circles that you see are going to grow into baby tadpoles and they will hatch and become frogs any day now so i don't see any tadpoles swimming around we might come back and check on them in a couple days but, oh my gosh, that is one of the coolest things I have ever seen. I've never seen this before, like out in the wild like this. So we're going to look along the riverbank and see if we can find any more little eggs. Like you can see, it's a pretty good pile. Any more little eggs or any frogs. So I will see you guys in just a bit. Alright, and we are holding very still. We have spotted a couple frogs, and I'm going to see if I can zoom in on them. They're very, there he is. Right in the middle, there's one right there, and he has a buddy staring right at him. If you guys can see that power to you, and look at that. Do you see that? That is probably an entire giant glob pile of eggs, that kind of grayish spot to the left. This is one of the most exciting and different discoveries I have ever made, and that goes to show you why you need to slow down when you're outside in parks, just having a good day, because we, we slowed down, came down a little path, sat down, and started finding all of these amazing things. So we're going to see what else we can find in just a couple seconds. Alright, we are down here, and this is for sure one of the most amazing natural sights that I have ever seen. This entire thing right here is a cluster of eggs, and I'm getting a good look at the types of frogs. I see several. There's actually one right here and right here, and I'll zoom in. I'm using my camera on my phone, so this isn't the highest quality, but let's see. if You see? One right there. Then we have all of these eggs. Look at these eggs, you guys. This is going to be hundreds and hundreds, at least maybe even a few thousand tadpoles. A lot of these eggs are probably going to be eaten uh, by various birds, various animals. You can see another frog right there hanging out, keeping an eye on everything. I'm not sure what type of frogs these are. Oh my gosh, and you can see another one right there. Yeah. My gosh, they're so hard to see. I can I can see them, but it's like impossible if you're just like glancing. So this is hundreds of eggs in one location. I'm walking in the water right now, so can't get much closer to that particular frog. Unfortunately, I need hiking boots, but there she is, or he. There's several more that are kind of darting around and hiding right now. Because they, you heard their chorus earlier, and they have really quieted since we came out here. But I am in love with this. This is a perfect little swampy area. It stays swampy pretty much year-round. And we've never come down this far, but we found a path down here. And was I ever rewarded? Look at this. There's water seeping into my socks right now, and I don't care. Because this is the first time I have ever seen frog eggs in the wild, and I'm seeing them in the thousands. There are actually, if you look around, little tiny clusters of them all through the water. And it's, it's amazing. 
Life is absolutely fantastic, you guys. There's frogs everywhere. You can see one right there. And we're going to leave these guys to it. Just, I wish I could get closer, but I don't have any, any hiking boots. Um, yeah, my shoes are full of water. <laughs> and I don't want to disturb them too much. So we're going to head out, and we can talk about how amphibians need to keep their eggs moist, how they need to keep their skin moist, and how they are very happily propagating and living in this wonderful look at this microenvironment we've got all sorts of leaves we've got plant matter growing up through here we've got different grasses this is a beautiful creek this is an absolutely beautiful little creek and i cannot believe look how many eggs i've never i've never seen frog eggs in the wild and i've never ever ever imagined i would see this many at once this is amazing I hope you guys have enjoyed this totally surprise find. It's our first hike together of the spring, and what a special way to start the year. I hope you guys are having a great day, and stay curious. Bye-bye. I know, my gosh. So you guys, we were walking on our way back to the car and Darling, with his excellent hearing, heard something we thought was a bird. It turns out it was frogs croaking. And so we came down here and look what we have found. Do you see that big red frog? And she is sitting in a giant pile of eggs. And there were several large frogs. These ones look to be a little bit bigger than the other ones. Would you say the male was bigger? Yeah, the male was definitely bigger. But we found this little cluster. This is actually Darling's find this time around. I don't see immediately any other clusters of eggs, but this is a totally different environment. It's just up the stream a ways, and it's much, much, like, shadier here. Oh, she's sticking her little eyes out, looking at us. Hello, ma'am, or sir. But they were just hanging out on top of these eggs, so most likely they're in the process of getting them laid and fertilized and taking care of them. We'll have to see if we can come back in a couple days. But you guys, right here in a creek, in a park that we have walked dozens of times, we are finding things that neither of us have ever seen in our life before. There's frogs moving through the water. Oh, I see a male. He is a darker color. He is just floating in the water behind the female. Oh, there he goes. You see the ripples? So there's red ones, and there are these darker ones. Oh, there he goes. He's on top of that little log. There, you see him? He is a totally different color. The same long-legged shape, though. But these guys were calling uh, to each other, too, and they're, they're just tiny. They're just down there. That is a giant cluster of eggs, though. So maybe we'll come back in a day or two, see if any are there, see if they have tadpoles in them. This is some of the most beautiful and amazing things I've ever seen, so I'm so glad we have the opportunity to share it with each other and with all of you. Stay curious, guys.